All right, this is my go-to style of coronamid when the fish are getting picky. So uh, it, it's going to look a lot more realistic, but it's also going to be smaller. Um, just the way I've usually found success if the fish are picky is I'm going to size down. So I'll tie this most often in 16s and even as small as 18s, not so much, but uh, definitely 16s and 14s. So I've got my Hannock 333 in here. It's a Czech style nymph. These are great for coronaments because of the gradual progressive bend there. And this one's a pretty simple tie and it's going to use a quill body material that uh, when I first saw it, I was a little skeptical, but I love the way it looks and it's super durable. A lot more, at least uh, more so than natural peacock, strip peacock quills. So we're going to start off with a thread kind of midpoint here and I'm just going to work my way down now I'm going to grab my this is the Hemingway synthetic peacock and so you can see it has the little nice little kind of taper to it and the coloration very similar so what I normally do is on these smaller sizes I'll tie that in pretty much right at the tip and then whatever's left over I keep it aside because this will work better on bigger patterns so I usually get about two patterns out of each uh, strip so I'm just gonna tie this in right at the end and I want that back the, uh, the black strip there facing back so as I wrap it the uh, lighter side will be forward and just come building up a taper all the way up, back halfway, and then back up. Okay, so we got a little bit of a taper there. And now we're just going to start wrapping this synthetic quill. Uh, you may have to give it a tug so it lays down like you want it to but once you got the, the stuff wrapping and up the hook you'll be good and then any of those imperfections we can cover up with the resin all right now that's more than what we'll need that's definitely more than enough uh, at least up the shank there so we'll tie that off but that also allows us to wrap back over where we're going to tie in our other materials. So now I'll wrap back over to where I want to start and tie in my uh, wing pads. And so we're about, I don't know, three quarters of the way up, somewhere in that neighborhood. <clears throat> and what I like to do is turn the fly upside down and I'm going to take these are goose biots and it's a sunburst color you can match them whatever you want you can use more of an orange if you want uh, this is a uh, not sunburst this is sulfur orange and uh, what I like to do and you can do this a bunch of different ways I'll come in here and split both of these and then depending on how small I may want to start the uh, the wing buds to be a little smaller so in this case I'll have about that much of the of the biots protruding out and we're just going to tie them in right here and then as I tie those it'll kind of suck the materials together and kind of create a V on the bottom um, and then I'll just work up and I can even come in here and trim these off and then just continue to wrap over those. And 
and that kind of builds up our taper a little bit more. So I'm going to go to the end right before the eye of the hook. And you want to build a little bit of a taper because if you don't, then your threads are going to, your thread wraps will slide off the front. Plus we need to still tie in our breathers. So now I'm going to fold each of these forward and tie them in, tie them. So just grab a hold like that. And then I'll just come up here, give a couple of somewhat loose wraps. That way I can go back and adjust these like so. Now, if we've gotten good snug wraps, I should be able to hold my thread tight and peel off the tag ends. like so. Now I'm going to adjust the hook a little bit so that I get my that eye so I don't have thread slipping off. And I'm going to coat this right now because we're going to tie in the breathers as a last step. So I want to get my resin on here before I tie in any breathers. And we'll just dab a little bit on all the sides. Then I just grab a bodkin and just even this all out. And generally you want your movements going up towards the eye so that you can keep your taper. And we'll do two coats. The first coat will be for the body and then we'll work that thorax. Then a little bit more for the thorax. And now for the breathers, I'm just going to grab some parapost wing material and right on top, tie it in parallel and then I twist it horizontal. And as I do so, then I can come in here and put in a couple of little figure eight wraps on each side. Okay, now we're just going to come in here, whip finish. This is where that, this nice little Tiemco whip finisher comes in handy. And then trim our breathers down to normal size. And so you'll just fish this one, however you fish, whether it's an indicator or a midge tip or floating line, sinking line, whatever you've got uh, going on there. But this will be a good kind of techie imitative pattern for you. Mm -hmm.